You did it! Yeah. Okay. Was it worth it? Yeah, it's totally worth it. <laughs> Sand dunes. National Lakeshore? Lakeshore. We're big babies. <sighs> we walked down about a quarter of the way. I'm gassed. What's up? Well, babe. What's up? We're trying to go check out some dunes and potentially do a short hike. Here's some dunes. Right now we're on the, what is it? Pierce Stockton Scenic Drive. Ooh, look, sand. Ooh. So we are making our way on the Scenic Drive here. And I'm trying to get to the place. We want the place, Russ, where the dunes go into the water. That's where we want to go. We're on the Scenic Drive. We're halfway there. A few moments later. Bare sand. Ecological list. <laughs> <laughs> Ecologist. Ecologist call the cycle the transformation succession. It starts with sand and wind. C A left. <laughs> Long ago, glaciers created the sand. The wind comes off Lake Michigan. As the sand piles up, plants anchor the dunes. However, when the hikers walk the dune grasses, the sand compacts and crushes their fragile roots. With no roots to hold the dune I can't in place. Film anymore. So you should probably not go down the dune. You go down this dune to the lake. It's so steep that people need to get rescued, and it'll cost you three thousand dollars. It let's, is not recommended. Let's go. <laughs> Holy moly! He's very tall, so this, he's less steps, you know? It's easy. He said he took a bow. <laughs> so all these people over here at the Overlook Point, watching safely, um, watched our friend Russ walk all the way down the dune to the water's edge. Which is not train. recommended, because it's a $3,000 bill <laughs> if you can't make it up. Yeah, if you have to get rescued, you're out of luck. But, um, but luckily, he it, and he, he took a bow. Yeah, he made it. He took a bow, and luckily, he makes pretty good money. So we're big babies. <sighs> we walked down about a quarter of the way. I'm gassed. Yeah. My yeah, calves, yeah. my calves and quads are burning. I have a feeling that Ross is not going to be able to walk tomorrow. He's going to be so sore. I think he started his climb up about 15 minutes ago. Yeah. I still can't even see him. It's great. From the lookout point, everybody's cheering him on. Kids, random people. Got a bunch of kids egging him on. But yeah, he, he's in for a haul. It's going to take a while. Nobody is watching. Just take your time. <laughs> Just go slow. Nobody's watching. Nobody is invested. Nobody's taking pictures. So now we are changing our viewpoint. We're going to meet Russ at the top of the hill. Everyone's coming to cheer him on. Got a whole group of people. It's like the end of a marathon when everyone's lined up. Yep. <laughs> well, we got to if we cheer him, we'll give him a little bit more energy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Almost there! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Good job. You got it! Let's go! <laughs> okay. 
Good job, man. What's that? <sighs> it's too bad you were on your call. Oh, yeah. Too bad. Shucks, I missed it. <laughs> this is the last activity for the day, I think. This has been an action-packed day. Mostly action-packed because Russ hiked up the hill. And now we're making him hike even more. But where are we? We're at Empire Bluffs Trail. Empire Bluffs Trail. So it has a really nice overlook of the Sleeping Bear Dune. And that's and what we're going so to see. So we technically did wake up a little earlier today to get some work done. So we could head out a little bit earlier today. But these are all activities you can do after work. Look at this beautiful sunset coming in. <sighs> look at it, look at it. <sighs> Got the shot, babe. Got the shot. Perfect. day what is up everyone today is Thursday today is the last day of our week I mean there's still Friday but but we're off early for the holiday we're weekend. off early for the holiday weekend and we got to move on Friday so we're not gonna be able to do an activity so you only get four activities and this one is a super creepy haunted it's prison so haunted. it's not a prison it was a state hospital. Hospital. Oh my God. But if it was a psychiatric hospital, that's basically a prison. Uh, sure. Anyways, sure. so this is a tour of a state hospital. Traverse City State Hospital. Supposedly haunted. Supposedly really cool. You can see the building. It's pretty sweet. When we get in there, we are not supposed to video. So we'll be showing you guys a slideshow of photos. Yeah, um, that's what we're told. This, Maybe there'll be video. This whole um, compound is has been converted. Most of it has been converted into like shops and restaurants and some other businesses. But the entire like campus essentially used to be the hospital. But we're gonna go tour one part of it. And the cool part is we're gonna go below and in tunnels. So it should be creepy and spooky, and we're really excited. And what do you think of these glasses? These are my glasses. These are by actually the way. Melissa's. You stole them. But now we can finally share one article of clothing. We can mix and match. <laughs> so we're walking, looking at the building, and this nice older lady noticed my pit vipers, and she's like, "Those are cool glasses." She did not say that. And I was like, "That's a cool building. Do you live in there?" And she was like, "Yes, this is my condo." And apparently, I yelled up to her. It was kind of like Romeo and Juliet. There are 30 condos in this hospital. How cool would that be to live in a like an abandoned hospital that's been like renovated? That's so cool. Well, it was built in 1885. Um, this is what it looked like originally with the uh, building 50 in the center. And then they demolished that in 1963 due to fire codes and then put that flat top building that looks like right that. A flat top building that looks like a college campus library. I think the original looks creepier. Mm -hmm. But they kept most of it. Yeah, they did. It's 300,000 square feet. 300,000 square feet. 300,000 square feet and it spans for a quarter mile. It's a quarter mile long. Wow. Yeah. This tour was really incredible. It was nice to see that over the years, the state hospital made so many advancements in mental health. Another big perk of this tour was that our tour guide had lived on the facilities for multiple years when growing up as a child, so it gave a super cool perspective. Towards the end of the tour, we were actually told we could do a couple video clips in the tunnels. This is the coolest tour ever! It really is awesome. Look at the staircase. Go ahead. Holy crap! 
<laughs> Thanks for watching.